I was like, oh, you know, like, I want to uh, eventually put the awful Batwoman soundtrack into, like, maybe Goodell or some other video at some point. And I was like, oh, is it released mm -hmm. yet? And I Googled it, and I was like, oh, main theme has come out, I guess. And I listened to it, and I was like, wait a minute. This is the thing that I remember, but this is not quite how I remember. So what I'm going to show you is the the episode itself, of course. You may be familiar with this. It's, um, it's good old episode one, the, the battle <laughs> sequence. Just enjoy the music. <laughs> So that's awful. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm not insane. That is what the music was. So when I found this other one, I was like confused. All right, just check this out. So I was confused because I was like, but that's better. Oh, it's much better. It's like an actual yeah. soundtrack. But it says score recreation. Well, that was yeah, the thing. Some Dude just made this. Some fan just came up with this. Imagine being passionate enough about that woman. <laughs> but that, that aside, it, it's immense. It's way better than what they actually did. All I guess they, they had to do was take the original beat and then just add some layers of different instruments, which is fine with me. It's not yeah. like mind blowing, but uh, it's so much better. And this is the kind of stuff because like a lot of people that I know, YouTubers and stuff, they make their own music to a degree. Some people mess around. Forti is actually one of the people we know who likes to make different sounds, music and stuff. Like who did they hire? No when they told someone they already hired to do it. Cameraman number three, because they don't probably, they don't have, probably don't have that many. <laughs> Cameraman <but> number three. <laughs> Cameraman, <laughs> Cameraman three, we need a soundtrack. Oh, me? Me, I need, oh, okay. Well, they're like, that's, to bet. that's perfect, Jim. My name bet. is Frank. <laughs> It's probably like a lack of time, I imagine. Like, sure. Maybe. Probably Maybe. That, would, that would explain the special effects. Like the bats in this, uh, this little, this little poster here. Do you remember the bats in the show? Well, well, yeah. Remember in the first episode when she enters the bat cave, the bats spin around and accept her as one of their own. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also like little plasticky, you know, whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I thought this was interesting as a sort of comparison. It's just like this is what you could get from a random fan with. I guess some free time versus a professional studio funded by Warner Brothers. Better, I guess. You still um, think I it's think, terrible, do you think? <laughs> I think like what the actual rhythm is is just not good. Um, so I don't really think that this guy could improve it because just the, what it is is just not very interesting. It's just a scale, basically. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, yeah. Not much going on. I think he, I think he made it better. Considering he's limited to what the original is, like it's not really an indictment on on this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's, it's like it's almost like he's working with a a, a nearly blank canvas. It's so <laughs> bare bones and terrible. You could do so much with it. Yeah, as soon as he put a chair in, it's like that's awesome. <laughs> put a chair on your canvas kicking onwards so when i'm editing the other ones i get to listen to more dialogue and things i might have missed and um did you guys catch the reason why they don't take backup to go to alice in the previous episode i did not no jacob says i don't want another standoff like in the park so if you what? remember episode two where they all surrounded kate covering alice and he was like you know blah, blah, blah. oh yeah and they, yeah because i remember in that scene they capture alice safely yep no no casualties and she's captured and he said he doesn't want that again so, oh, man. God forbid. Oh, oh, Jacob, you're so in, you're literally the most incompetent individual ever. <laughs> Bummer, like, they still had a standoff. Like, no. If I'm to be as absolutely generous as possible and assume that he was referring to the fact that Kate stood in the way and she nearly got hurt, I'd be like, yes, because that's not a possibility when you go and see them without backup. Like, Kate will be fine. Also, if that does happen, then they could just be like, all right, we're, we're just going to arrest her. I don't know why you're standing there. We're not going to shoot her. We're just going to arrest her. Yeah, which is what they did. <laughs> which is what they did. Which is weird that she was standing there. I was like, no. It's like, what are you doing? We're, no, we're going to take her in. We're not China. So there's a, there's a bit where Luke is talking to um, Dr. Lady, and he's like, there's the guy who's broken out of prison relatively recently, and it's too much of a coincidence that this skin thing is happening because he collected skin too. And basically there's just this sort of backstory that's going on that I guess we kind of sort of glossed over where the skin guy and, and Alice would have grown up with evil Ned Flanders until mm -hmm. the skin guy went to prison for stealing skin, and then he broke out recently, and that's when Alice decided to enact this whole plot line and she has plans with him to do naughty things or whatever i i, I guess but i just find it funny because uh, mary says she's is, 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 is it mary am i making that up i always feel mary. bad yeah okay i always feel like i'm pulling these names from nowhere because i don't remember these people but <laughs> why not that's what the writers <laughs> the show. wait 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 who, who are you talking about mary, mary is the stepdaughter the asian stepdaughter 
the doctor lady. Oh, Kate's, Kate's sister, oh, okay. the Asian doctor I, lady. I don't remember any of these characters' names. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, there's this like weird back and forth. She's like, I didn't hear about any breakout. And he, and he just looks at her and he goes, well, you know, kiss because you did. Then she's like, oh. And I was like, how the fuck does... <laughs> how would she not have heard about it? Like, an Arkham fucking asylum breakout in the city when she's like a doctor? You, okay, like, whatever. Because like, the joke is supposed to be that she's like assuming it's all due to, due to Alice. And it's like, ah, oh, haven't you heard? There's a breakout with the skin man, so maybe it's that. You know, and it's just like, okay. So, and is it supposed to explain how there's going to be monsters of the week? There's a breakout from Arkham. Why are no heroes from other cities getting involved at this point? They're all dead or worthless. <laughs> I can't just like, fuck. <laughs> um, the, yes. It's hard to get a sense of, let's think, the world building is so bad. Oh, not shit. just, like, like, you have no idea what's going on you have no idea how is the city afraid of alice the whole thing right with like the comic book format the, the reason why it works so well is because you have characters just crossing over regularly like you'll be reading a comic batman's doing something and then deathstroke will show up or flash will show up or superman will show up and then they team up or fight or whatever and it's like interesting and cool and it makes the world feel alive but in this show there's just nobody <clears throat> it's barren and empty and shit so the calibration issues with the Batarang, someone pointed out, it's like, didn't she, like, snipe the detonation device out of Alice's hand? No! Imagine, like, her thing was uncalibrated and exploded and killed everyone. <laughs> like, that would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been funny as hell. Oh, yeah. And then they explained, like, oh, yeah, the, the Batarang was uncalibrated. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and as I was explaining, as I brought up to Mahler, though, is that when, after episode three, when you have the Thomas Elliot guy, and she has the little stun gun on her arm. Like, they really fucked themselves by introducing that as a thing. I'm done with you. Because now there's never a reason when... that Like, that's a thing that has to be accounted for now. I feel mm -hmm. like this is, um... It's like, you know, when you were a kid and you were playing games, it's like, no, no, I have, like, immunity powers. Or, like, no, 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 I have, like, I don't know, super, like, heat vision powers just out of nowhere. It's like, that's not fair. It's like, oh, I got it. You know, you just call it... <laughs> Just get over it. That's what I can do now. This is the show, like the defibrillator. Fucking defibrillator. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's this thing with the night vision goggles. The idea that Batman doesn't have night vision goggles, but he does have night vision visors. Um, that was the point that Luke was making. We were pretty outraged at the idea that he wouldn't have night vision goggles in general. My yeah. takeaway, I put this in the comment section for just to try and prevent confusion. He has this enormous R&D department that is still run with security and active, and he doesn't have night vision goggles. So you might be like, well, Batman doesn't use them, he has the visors. I'd be like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's, it was so poorly worded that none of us got it. Yeah, like, the uh, I did catch the, the, the moment where the, the camera zooms on her and she's got the pale eyes, though. I was like, oh, yeah, right, I, I get that. it. I saw that. I was like, did they build that? Did, yeah, did, that was our confusion, that? was that, um... Because yeah. cause why would you be that annoying? Like, Luke, why would you be like, he doesn't have an eye vision goggles. You're like, oh, but he does have night vision. He's like, mm hmm Why'd you even bring it up? <laughs> And you'd think she would have known that by now since she's so familiar with the suit, but I guess not. I just feel like there should be a basic training moment for her. Like, this is what your suit can do, rather than put it yeah. on and we'll tell you about the things that are useful as episodes go by, but yeah. Oh yeah. no, I fucked up. Actually, I didn't. It wasn't calibrated properly. Thing. Oh! <laughs> it, it is crazy to think about that on the first episode after a afternoon, like, she, she can just put on the suit and she knows how to fly. Yep. She can <laughs> fly? One of the big issues is, like, the suit and the stakes that it imposes are very vague. Like, we know that the suit's really good, but it's it's not whenever it's convenient. Surely if she's in, like, a fist of, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat, if somebody punches the suit, it, like, break their fingers or something? Like, if it's bulletproof or, you know, like... I don't know, the suit, like, does whatever it needs to when the plot says it needs to do that. Just remember, she didn't even know it was bulletproof. She was like, oh, cool, no, I didn't die here. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, the shootout at the restaurant. There's a there's a lot of the the reason why we erupted at that. I think is because we didn't have time to even like really break down all the potential issues. So the police would have been called like regardless, right? Because the restaurant's not owned and run by evil people. Like it, it would have been just a normal fucking restaurant. No, there was an explosion. There's a friend at, there was a friend at the restaurant, which means that everyone at the restaurant is evil. Away. Everyone, every everybody's <laughs> in on it. Even the customer, especially the customer. <laughs> they're fine. They're just, they just want to eat at Joe's Sloppy Shack or wherever the fuck they went. At they, least that would explain why no one cared she was just in shackles in there. Yeah. Also, I hate to be that fucking guy, 
but when you shoot a propane tank, it doesn't explode in a ball of fire. Get us. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, let's, uh, that's, there's two ways to approach that. So that's the first one where just, that's not how it works. But secondly, if that's what they were going for, then shouldn't they be concerned about shooting a propane tank that's attached to the, the a building a where there's like, a bunch of innocent people? Yeah, yeah like, one would, one would think that. I don't know, Jacob, no. like, be careful, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Like, also, man, it's a good thing that when those eight guys popped out with automatic assault rifles, <laughs> they didn't do any damage. They crowded to our around bodies. the fucking propane tank too. Also, <laughs> none of them did something like, "Hey, bot, maybe, in, maybe we should go around the car where they're taking cover and shoot them." I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. No, let's let's just stay here and shoot at them. Well, it makes you wonder. wonder. What's that? Was their job to kill them? Because holy shit, if they had planned that correctly, we would have watched a scene where Jacob and Sophie just get gunned down. Yeah, and, <laughs> we're and like, Alice wow. Would have never been able to. That's the thing. It's almost like, um, like in the first episode, Kate Kane gets lucky she doesn't get killed by these guys. Like they try to shoot her and hit her in the back of the head with like bats and stuff. Like she would be killed by that stuff. But the plan was to take her in. Then what's with the guns and everything? It's just all... The they want their action scenes without having to think through why the villains would do <laughs> what they're doing. I'm super curious to see if Dodgson is either in jail or is not. The show can do whatever it wants. Because <laughs> it just doesn't seem to yeah. care. And I'm wondering if... Uh, will they have a throwaway line to be like, Oh, good that I got that tracker out of my neck. Ugh, yeah, it felt weird. <laughs> or they'll just be like, No, it's still in there. <laughs> Whatever. I think I can't remember if we highlighted it, but it was really weird that Sophie approaches the house with, with the potential evil tisms with just a pistol. And then when she figures out that there's one dude who's a, almost a civilian attacking her, she goes back to get her shotgun. <laughs> and, it, and also in that episode, when Batwoman goes to the, to the lair, right? to attack everybody. Alice doesn't care that they're shooting at her with rifles. Well, no, they, like, she's immune to them, right? It's only the, her face. Yeah, but like, the, what if they hit her in the they face? They don't know that. I don't know what the fuck Alice's plan is. Once we find out what the definitive plan, the definitive plan at the end of the film, well, series of episodes, we'll be able to be like, wow. Consider all these things that happened up to that point and how it would have destroyed this plan, but okay. <laughs> so Batwoman, she describes Alice's actions towards Jacob as revenge. You need to decide right now what you care more about. Revenge or mouse. For, for what? Exactly. For what? <laughs> She's like, she wants revenge. It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> you want I hate the story, like it's so stupid, <laughs> you've got like barely any motivation. It just bothered me. So Alice wanted to be seen by Batwoman on camera to, because she knew that stealing skin would get Batwoman pissed off. I guess that's just something we we, we all knew about her character, it's good that we knew I, that. This'll, this'll bring her over the edge, unlike all the, you know, murders. But like, it's what happens if normal cameras and normal police are alerted and she's just captured normally? <laughs> and she goes so to jail. Alice, Alice knew exactly that at all of these locations, there were no cameras everywhere except for the cameras that Bruce Wayne has scattered all over the city. Or has access to. I need to watch that bit again. I can't remember what they actually say, but it's one of them superpowers he just sometimes is going to use. It's established, like, at the in the first episode that Bruce Wayne has CCTV cameras just scattered all over the city. I can believe that Batman has, like, eyes everywhere to some degree. How Kate would know this? She knew yeah. Bruce Wayne's password, which was Alfred, just to remind you that Bruce Wayne's <laughs> password for his fucking computer is Alfred. She knew that. She knew to guess that, which she guesses right on the first try because she's fucking perfect in the plot. Where is confirmed Alfred? She can't mess up. <laughs> Alfred's I dead. That, I was just about to bring that up. When I was doing my video, I got a part in there. I was like, wait, so the show confirms that Alfred's like a thing. Is he going to show up in one of these later episodes? Is Alfred going to show up? I hope up? he doesn't. I, um, I want this show. Because we're going to ruin him. I want it completely divorced from Batman yeah. characters from the <laughs> yeah. Bat family. Oh, we, me and Rags are talking about this. They had Batman in that flashback, right? But that's the only time we've ever seen him, and it was like 5 FPS. And so... I'm glad. Yeah, I'm so glad we're cause... thinking, is that the reason why the original flashbacks with Batman in them are terrible and you could barely make out what's going on because all the flashbacks after that they're like normal scenes just with sepia yeah. and even whatever. when they're at the same age you know it's not like a representation yeah. of the further back you go the shakier memory is it's just that it's I'm the not, one with batman in it i'm gonna level with you man like i i if i'm gonna flip out if like any of the bat family shows up like nightwing or barbara gordon well yeah like dick uh you know if dick grayson or tim drake or jason todd Barbara Gordon, I, or Alfred. There is a Commissioner, <laughs> Commissioner Gordon, Gordon in this, right? We Doesn't haven't he? seen him. I hope. We haven't seen him yet, because there's no and fucking world building. Who knows what well, they're going to do. Gotham, <laughs> Gotham Police Department's irrelevant in this show. 
like Gotham Police Department's totally irrelevant, which is odd. The world building is shit. Like, especially as somebody who's a Batman fan and actually, like, reads the comics and watches the movies and the TV shows. It's, it's just, like, it feels so barren. And Gotham's doesn't such, Luke... like, a well-fleshed-out city. Talking about comics, doesn't Luke Fox... Isn't he supposed to become, like, Batwing or something? This guy. this Luke Fox, this guy is Batwing. We'll have to see how that develops. We know that Alice could escape from that room with just a nail in the keyhole, which is the dumbest thing ever, but fine, that's how she could do it. What prevented her from doing that when her family showed up and just being like, leave with them, even be like secretive about it? And then also what would stop her from doing that in future? Yeah, like if ever the dad had to go out, so I'm going to get some groceries. <laughs> now would be a good time to leave. <laughs> Yeah, and then... I wonder if we find out... Like, are we long... supposed to believe that yeah, one time he said, like, if anyone comes looking for you, we're going... I'm going to kill them. It's like, is that... Was was that it? That's just... Yeah. It's... Okay. I, yeah, I wonder if, if it ever gets cleared up how long they actually have been there. I think oh, I think that's going to be the rest of the backstory for Alice episodes is more... We got to yeah. find out... We got to find out how Ned Flanders died, right? I'm assuming he did. <laughs> I just like mm -hmm. Ned Flanders as a name for him. <laughs> People have been saying he sounded a lot like Jordan Peterson, and that's possibly what they were going for. I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh. think so. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Um. <laughs> but, well, actually, I don't, I don't believe it, but if it happens once or twice, again, I might be on board, because I think the fact that they completely shoehorned and then quasi-forgot the fact that Kate Kane just nonchalantly says, oh, I'm going to start a real estate firm. I think that's might be a dig on donald trump being a real estate mogul sure Nothing this is the thing I, yeah i wouldn't say it's impossible for any of these things i just you know but i do kind of find it funny because it's a very specific kind of voice and i can i can kind of see how they're similar uh we mentioned that she had shades on in the restaurant to sort of joke about how oh yeah okay so no one's gonna recognize it um after she's fucking around with kate a bit more kate like frustratively takes them off her and puts them on the table and says like you know come on stop playing games down 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 the rabbit hole look i'm done messing around what the hell <laughs> <laughs> They're the one thing that you could have actually argued made it so people could recognize it. You just fucking took them off anyway, whatever. Rip, rip disguise. Uh, upon rewatching it, so at first, Kate says she doesn't want to drink, and the guy is like, okay, and she's like, okay. She explains the first part of the Ned Flanders story, and then the guy turns up again, and um, Alice says, I think she'll take that drink now. And, oh, said, really? Nah, I'm good. And so, uh, I'm good. But she, yeah, she just, uh, she, she drank it from there then. It's like, oh, she heard a story that wasn't fun. Okay. Also, um, I don't know if, like, th this was caught, it doesn't really matter too much, but, um, guy at diner was in fact... Oh yeah, that was, the, that was the guy, yeah. ...person man. Which means that he escaped from Arkham and then managed to get a fucking job at a restaurant within a week. Yeah. Um, I mean, there. Yeah. Look, Sloppy Joe's is hiring, man. No previous experience required. No identity required? No, no ID. <laughs> No ID. Maybe they hire illegal immigrants regularly, so they don't check IDs. It's very on the down low. There's a, there's just a lot of variables that have to kind of luck out for this. Like not to oh, mention, yeah. so they this... just uh, he just gets a job. That's how Batwoman writing is done. It's like, oh, he needs to be here. Uh, just put him there. And you're supposed to be like, yeah. a, so it didn't really matter that he was there though. It could have been anybody that worked for her. It didn't need to be him. It, that's no. what I thought at first. It was just a guy, <clears throat> but apparently it's the dude who is escaped that everyone's looking for who needs an id to get a job how does payroll work this is like a problem that he's just working here he's got the shirt and everything he's working at <laughs> dusty's he roofied a customer and then had two of them one of them locked up i guess she took off the coast i just it's such a bizarre circumstance i'm like all right for reference by the and way the, the meat that he captures can do that to his face yeah, I was about to say that. Are we led to believe that he can manuf manufacture, like, his own face with, like, random skin? From people's things? thighs. You can just do yeah. that. Yeah. And when you see the thing, when he gets it off, it's, like, really thick and, like... Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, it that's kind of, it's like a ham. Mm -hmm. What if you have different skin tones? And also, like, you have hair on your legs. <laughs> <laughs> they shaved it for you. Some, some chicks aren't always into that. Also, you skin rots. Off? Pretty badly. <laughs> nah, man, he's it's attached. He's attached no, to the blood. Super, he's no, got Alice cut it off. How is skin stanky any better face. than just, stanky like, why face. Would you not just, get, <laughs> just get plastic? Why do Why do you need like real skin? What the fuck? Also, his scars are not like 
insanely bad, most people would look at that and they're like, they'd notice it immediately, but they're like, oh, he was in an accident. It, it's obviously yeah. not polite to point it out. It's insane. And, and as you would easily predict, that's obviously going to be something they're going to work with um, in the coming episodes. We'll make it him... be anybody. Yeah. Yeah. How does a kid that age, from a what seems to be a normal, just wholesome American family life, know how to pick a lock anyway? Like, how did well, she? She didn't pick a lock. She sticks. Mm. She sticks no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I, you know what I mean. Like, the All show right. is arguing she knows how to pick a lock. So, like, it's pretty ridiculous. It's like, how the fuck would she know how to do that? Everyone yeah. knows how to pick locks. It's they just, just shove like a thing in the that, thing. She grew up in Gotham. Yeah. <laughs> everyone everyone in Gotham knows how to pick locks. Man, they nails. need to get some better lock companies. Do your thing. You got to market it's there. It's a constant struggle. Lock lock pickers versus lock <laughs> It's just a constant battle. They do that thing where they have like a hacker hacks a security thing, so the hacker gets hired to make the security thing. So they hire this little girl to make the next locks because they're like, come on. <laughs> but dude, the nailing companies, they're fucking booming. Oh yeah. Everyone gets the nails. Um. So this is something we didn't really think about, but if uh, this, oh, no. this is the kind of thing we are like, oh god, this is where we're starting to expand into really thinking about how much they don't give a shit. So we have Bruce, who's fucking apparently ruined by the fact that he didn't save these two in the car, the mum and the daughter. <laughs> so he finds out, as Bruce Wayne, obviously, because he can talk to um, Jacob Kane about all of this, you'd be like, oh, so you had like a random call from like a guy's house that you thought was Beth and like that that guy you'd be like hmm that's suspicious yeah weird 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 weird, weird. so I'm not gonna be around tonight I'm gonna go um I'm, I'm gonna be with you know the ballet or whatever I'll, uh, bye and Batman just bursts in the fucking house and be like is the thingy here I would find her <laughs> and then um that brings up the whole like wait did Bruce fall for the fucking forensics thing was he like oh bone fragments this person says that they belong to um the girl wouldn't Bruce check that out wouldn't he have his like own thing? Wouldn't he be like, you know, like I'm think maybe I'm biased, right? Because I'm thinking about Dark Knight, where um he goes crazy on that the bullet fragments in the brick. Bruce is called the world's greatest, greatest detective. detective. So like, wouldn't he be like, I'm a get in, uh, so, pay someone off or get into the place and steal a bone fragment and analyze it myself. And he's like, oh, this is a deer or whatever. Well, that's the thing that creates a problem because we have the issue earlier where there was the blood on the knife that Batwoman had, that Kate had, and she never analyzed it using Batman's lab. Remember, it got stolen in the car park because they couldn't have her. <laughs> the, yeah. Oh, it's so stupid because the, the, the show doesn't want them to be able to analyze it. So they're like, oh, they have a talk first. Oh, no, it's stolen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Just, instead of her just being, oh, I have access to all of Batman's you know, assets and resources. Which, I, it, he is by a the way, of course he has a DNA scanner. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> like, Evil Mum did that because she doesn't want him the, the, you know, solid information to come out that she absolutely is Jacob's sister, uh, daughter. So you're like, oh, okay, okay. But, but that they, means it could have been tested. Over the Wonderland gang. It could have been tested. Well, no, they just, they could just buy masks or whatever that look like them, right? Oh, right. Of course. That makes. <sighs> okay. They just, they just happen to buy the same masks as them, I guess. Uh, well, I'm just talking, blown away by the fact that it's like, they take the knife and she's like, oh, thank God. It's like, they already tested it, though, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. It's, it's beyond dumb. But yeah, they, they said that Batman was haunted by this whole event, so I'm like, oh, yeah, he didn't look into it. It's fine. And it's like, even, even if Jacob didn't believe it was his daughter, you'd still want to test it. Like, how would see, Jacob like not tell people about this? He's like, yeah, I was phoned by her. Turns out it was this kid who can fake voices. Like that, that happened. Like, and if you told Bruce Wade that, he'd be like, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm." Again, I'm gonna be out tonight, uh, going to uh, a show, in the theater. So don't, don't call me. I'm gonna be busy. Batman, hey, you're disappointing every, every, me. <laughs> every week, where it's gonna start off with an hour of us fucking chat shitting about stuff that's come to mind or that we've written down or what the comments have <laughs> said of all the stupid shit that we missed. And then we have to go from that and, and realize after an hour of talking about this that we're talking about old information we've we already We got another seen, one coming. <laughs> and there's another 40 something minutes of new information that's just- It's, it's impossible, like you're, it's it's impossible to keep track. Pilot it on top of the pile. Yeah. So, what, so what I'm curious what you guys think of this. Uh, there, there was there was a high rate yeah. comment that said, "Can we talk about how fucking weird it is that they found bone fragments and decided it was over from that?" My only comment is like, it's weird that they didn't have any investment in finding a body. I suppose that is very odd. Um, that is only... odd. Yeah. Now <laughs> the show, the show tries to pass this out as saying they were skull fragments. Right. That doesn't get rid of the we need a body to find out if this was foul play or if it was an accident. 
they just say, oh, yeah, we bone fragments from a skull. Oh, so if, if it's a skull bone, she's probably dead. And they just like, okay. So they stop looking when the bone fragments are found. I, I, I guess, guess so. it's implied that Jacob was like, well, Cause Jacob she's probably tells dead. Young, yeah, Jacob, t in a flashback, Jacob tells the young Kate Kane at like their cabin house, whatever, that they found bones, like skull fragment bones. We're not going to look for her anymore. It's it's done. She's dead. Traitor. Traitor. It's just weird. You'd think that Kane would be like, listen, you know, he looked for you an excessively long time. And we only stopped. We only reluctantly stopped after it came out that your 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 supposed skull bone fragments had been found. That's the only thing that got us to stop. Alice's motivations are fucked. Yeah, she should have killed Evil Mom by now. Absolutely. She stabbed Dad, not her. I that imagine that might be a payoff in one of these episodes. She, like, does kill her or something. I don't know. I don't know what the show's going for. If ever she does, I'm going to be like, wow, you took your fucking time. It took you way too long. <laughs> I'm just going to read out this top comment. It's actually more relevant to the episode before the one we watched, the Magpie one. But um, Yay, it's got us a quote. Bad. You're really committed to this whole bird thing, huh? Really committed to this whole bird thing, aren't you? And then it just says in all caps, You have bat magnets, you jelly bean. <laughs> 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 and there was, I think there was a reply that was like, In fairness, they were Bruce's. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> she, she, she still uses all this shit. Um, Dad, when getting the call from his long lost daughter, does not call the cops. It's like, he doesn't call for backup. That's part of his That's character. That's part of his character. Yeah. Uh, Dad doesn't find it odd that his personal phone was called. Like, yeah. Oh. The only way they could have uh, sorted that out, and I think they should have, but apparently they missed it, is to be like, he, he listened to your daughter online, and he got your phone number from, like, recommended helplines or something like that. Um, Even that would have been so awful, though. No, I know. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, that, that happened. <laughs> And uh, Dad doesn't find it odd that the kid impersonating her knows about her personal details, like, um, she can play the cello. I, uh, and I guess that must have been in the video that he saw, but it's still kind of like, okay. He would have known, like, I didn't give out any... Yeah, like, he would know what... Is. But he's Jacob Kane, he's not very reliable, like, in terms of memory. Or smart. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's useless. He's a useless character in this show. He just doesn't, he doesn't do anything useful or productive. He um, has all of these resources, but the crows are worthless. He's worthless. <laughs> so um, the, is... the, in the first episode, they're like, "Yeah, the crows are a bunch of ex Navy SEALs and Green Berets." They explicitly state that it's the most useless organization that has ever existed. They don't do anything. Like they haven't done anything. Do you remember? Was it a crow or was it a cop who shot at the exploding underwater van? That I'm pretty sure that was GCPD, and it wouldn't matter because yeah. the idea is that it's they're paid off by evil mom. She pays off whoever's evil, basically. <laughs> <laughs> whoever Wait, does something dodgy oh uh i don't know i think that's something that... we're supposed to infer i don't i don't I, know they true. might reveal that because they still remember there's still little tidbits every episode talking about that bridge explosion i think they're gonna have some kind of reveal for it or at least characters re re revealing something yeah, to other characters because the bomb hit with a 99.9 percent .9 accuracy <laughs> i don't know what whatever that means the, whatever the fuck that means <laughs> Um, so this is the last top comment that we're pretty much good to go. Um, I want to kill my dad because he thought I died, but instead I got kidnapped. Also, this is why I kill random people because I'm sad and I went crazy, though. <laughs> it's such a, like, okay. This is a, this is a really weird anime. I'm just waiting for them to actually try and explain why she's okay with killing people, other than she's she's crazy. Not very God, fun. She's crazy. Yeah, you she's don't crazy. need a reason. She's crazy. She's, woo, he's crazy. He's do anything. And then, uh, last I checked on IMDb, this- that was the highest rated episode out of the five. Why? Highest rated in Why? terms of, like, a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, just the highest rated individual episode in Batwoman. Uh, Jay Longbone said that she thought it was the best of the five. Yeah, Have you guys- like what do you think worst. now? I still think I worst, think it's yeah. the worst. It's just, the yeah, <laughs> it's still the worst. The, with the show, there's a best episode by technicality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean much. <laughs> like yeah. Having it doesn't mean much. Batwoman <laughs> season one, episode six. Is everyone ready to go? Fem, the fem yes. bats. Previously on Batwoman. These are interesting <laughs> clips that they're using to. Well, yeah, the, the, <laughs> their clips will often tell you what the episode will be addressing, right? Like that's the point. So it'll be, this one will be about Sophie. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hi. Um. He chopped it with his axe. What? <laughs> but dude, dude, walk away. Yeah, just walk away. Oh, come on! 
No, the way Aww. that you got in. Dude, just run yeah. left or right. Left or right. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, we took no. It's the bell. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The first scene. The first scene. This is the most. Welcome back to Batwoman. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh. Deed to the house belonged to Dr. August Cartwright. I have teams trying to pick up a trace, but it's like it just disappeared. Apparently, why are you telling her this? She's not part of the crows. You've, yeah, you've been horribly running? stabbed. What are you doing here? No, he's fine now. That was ages ago. How many times can I say I'm sorry for not listening to you? This is inverse logic. What does he mean, yeah, listen to you? Is... Listen to what? Yeah. What is he referring to? <laughs> yeah. Prosecutor Angus Stanton, who was murdered horrifically tonight. He was murdered? How did the hell they arrived at the <laughs> <laughs> This I don't know, so man. I think saying that they'd be like, "How could this possibly? <laughs> no murderer would actually do that." Oh, there's a camera. There was. Oh, they have a oh they've got it all on camera. Oh they my god, dude! Imagine watching that as a police officer. You'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, oh, he threw it at the, he threw it the camera! <laughs> he threw it at the camera! You know he had to go walk and pick it up. Just <laughs> he had to go and pick it up. I am not about to stand around and let Gotham cry out to be saved by someone who hides behind a mask. If this city starts to think it can rely on a vigilante for justice, we might as well hand it over to the crazies. I mean, he's not wrong. Like, if you've got a vigilante doing all the police's yeah. work, something's wrong. Well, they already have time. a private security firm Probably. doing all the police's work, so... <laughs> the police don't do anything. <laughs> so we're already at that point. Oh my god. God. Yeah. Oh, does she make that? Oh, she's gonna put it on and then it will cut and then it'll look great. Like, this is a joke solution that they're just running with. <laughs> Why you rip the face off of somebody? Well, and Honestly, dude, the thing is, like, he's probably gonna be able to impersonate, like, Kate Kane at some point. Like, that's how ridiculous they're gonna go with this. So beyond fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't understand why we don't just kill him. Because my sister is watching me like a hawk. That why would you care? You kill people anyway. Yeah. How would Beth she know you killed him anyway? Because the old Alice I remember wouldn't give a second thought about opening his throat with a butterfly knife. She's changed you. Not at all. You know, I killed like four people the last week, right? <laughs> she literally stabbed her dad like hours ago. I'll do whatever you want. I need you to steal Catherine's shiny new toy. But no, okay. but how does he, you can't just tell people to go steal things. This is like this a is skill. Best. My dad still sees me as his enemy. Stopping this guy has to convince him otherwise. No, it would do the opposite. It'll prove the crows are fucking worthless. <laughs> so. We were celebrating me getting into MIT. Oh God, he's having a moment. Next thing I know, there are two cops at the door. Wanted me to come down and ID the body. Acting. Lucius Fox, Fox is dead, around. everybody! Good for him. Never stopped Doesn't need to be in the show. The guy who, thanks to overcrowding, he was paroled just a few months ago. What? Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> sure. Because of overcrowding? Like, there were non-violent offenders? There was no non-violent offenders left. <laughs> Why didn't they send him to Rikers? Why didn't they send him to... I don't care if it's outside our district. Let's show Gotham we can keep them safe. You can't just do that. Do they have jurisdiction outside of the district? <laughs> like... Yeah, like, the cops are here. Oh, I guess they're just fine with this. Mm -hmm. Damn, crows are just... They can just do whatever they want. She's here. Oh, here she, yeah, she's just here. Red suits you. Goes with everything. So much is happening so quickly. No, Donnelly, stay back! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, mate. He, he had, like, no awareness. <laughs> oh, she got shot. Neat. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Kate. I love that she's shocked. It's like, why else would... Of course she thinks you're bad. No, take her to a real hospital! <laughs> why isn't she in a real hospital? <laughs> what was she shot with? Hollow point, black hour, water cutter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, it's bullet. It's like, of course it matters. Fuck. Yeah, it's like, what, you think all bullets are just How does she not know this is Batwoman? Like... 
Christ, we're already 11 minutes in. I love how, like, she's always oh, here when she needs a doctor. And also, I guess Skin Face Man, he is just uh, an espionage master? Like, yeah, that's he, just that's... a skill he has now. I don't know how he learned this skill, but he just is. Well, we haven't seen I him do anything like... ridiculous yet, but, uh... Man, lucky they don't look for the, for the eyes. Yeah, you, you typically they have eye scanners, say? but not this time. Man of the hour? The coil accelerator. I Thank you for explaining this to him. To how he would know all about our budget was extensive. We couldn't afford a rear sight for it, but <laughs> it's, it's it's fine. Something so delicate harnessing enough power to penetrate the bat suit. Why? What? Why? Why? What? 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 Why are you making wow. something that attacks wow. Batman? The audience really needs to know this. Also, are we already out of ideas? We just go to another bat suit destroying weapon. Yeah, I guess we do. That's 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 that. Fuck. Well, that's that's, that suit that's really does look easy. cheap as fuck. Gotham's use three ways to kill people in death row. Electric chair, firing squad, and the gas chamber. Gas chamber? Are you use a gas, gas chamber to execute people? God, not the soundtrack. Who's there? Someone who needs information. <laughs> <laughs> so let me buy you a drink and you can tell me all about the superhero thing. <laughs> Wow. This place hasn't seen any action, and apparently neither has its guard. Oh! They think this guy is the executioner guy. And that's not going to turn out to be the case. The moral of the story is that young black men are being unfalsely accused of things they didn't do. That's going to be this episode. Unfalsely. It's going to be this. Unfal. Well, false. Whatever. Jacob did it. Jacob's one. Jacob caught him personally. Nice. Good, good right. job, Jacob. He really hates black people. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what? Well, mm, fine. Mm, yeah. Mm, okay. Would have been funny if she wasn't standing right next to the driveway. Okay, you got me. Defibrillator. Defibrillator. <laughs> he just literally drives his truck into the building. And then like, comes in. Where are the guards? The security. What happened to that guard? Where is he? He's just not important at this literal moment. Does so the gate shooter not care about Batwoman either? I guess not. I guess she doesn't matter to him. All I can't believe it. That just happened. Look, she's got ice. She's fine. She took bullets without a fucking problem. Didn't even care. But getting hit by that truck. Yeah, that fucks you up, obviously. It need, I, it, you need ice it on the... I mean, I'm okay to believe that. It's just... I hope they're consistent in the future. So any deformation in the fibers is recorded in the suit's data. Tell me they have the there's no reason it wouldn't pick up... A, there's no reason it wouldn't pick up an impression from a car bumper. Or a license plate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't they believe this. It. Oh I can't believe god. this. They got the license plate for I... being hit by the truck. There was like wood attached to it or whatever the fucking thing was as well because of the crash through the wall, but okay. If your dad ever found out about he this was. place. I don't see how he hasn't found out about it already. I can't. This is fucking ridiculous. You're literally chained her to the bed. You better undo it. That woman would kill me. Frankly, she's scarier than you. I do know who she is. And that's why she won't let me leave. What? You have so much- you, you, it, This doesn't make sense. You know she's gonna leave eventually. There are so many ways she could escape. Tell dad that there's a whole facility here because yeah. she didn't let her go. I guess she wants to talk to her about how, like, hey, don't tell anyone, okay? Okay. Well, I mean, she can just pull a pin out of her boot and then, you know, get out of the- <laughs> <laughs> Why would a guy working at Blackgate target a cop and a prosecutor? They're on the same side. He's gonna be fueled by injustice. Mm -hmm. He's scarred it's because like he was a well, didn't one that wasn't right. No, okay, I'm just gonna grab it. No, 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 no. Well, she's okay. gonna open it up. Blows up in her face. USB. Uh -huh. Okay. No, and just stick it right in your computer. How do you know that that's not gonna fuck everything up? And everybody who sat in my chair started to look the same. Black, brown. Oh my god. Oh. I told you. Years, I well, just I told you. People that I executed. We're in this. I was the guilty one. That, well, that no, that's not how it works at all. No. I mean, also, if it wasn't you, it would have been literally some other person. <laughs> what? <I looked awful. laughs> what? Uh. Well, she does have a hefty pull. Why are they not? Why? Why are they not moving toward where that happened? What are they doing? Go! Go! Right! Go towards it. Now, okay, yeah, do something, everybody. John also <laughs> noticed Jacob Payne literally didn't do anything because he's worthless. Well, he's, he's, he's the USB. He's distracted. It's on the batter. What if it hit with the other side of the batarang? <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> it's me. How did you get this number? Let's call it twin tuition. If I wanted to kill you, I wouldn't have to wait for you to be wearing the suit. Your concern for me is so touching. Oh, okay. So, Kate. 
is Batwoman. Interesting. That's probably the only He's, thing that I, I've ever liked in this I whole like show. I like this. <laughs> this is literally the only thing that I've liked. Yeah. Real family doesn't abandon their own. Who snuck food to you in the middle of the night? Who let you Who stay trapped in that room? <laughs> <laughs> oh. How did he okay. get this out of his building? Try keeping that It'd be funny if that was like the only bullet he had. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> Why would he antagonize her? She's literally insane. He's no, but he's, insane. he's crazy too, Psychopath so it's justified. Because it's, it's an... Talk to me, Gotham. Anyone else feeling a little bat trade? Mm. People that I executed were innocent. Which meant that I was the guilty one. Yeah, judge Calvary condemned works, innocent. <laughs> so you're not even gonna look into this judge? Why? Because some social justice warrior thinks he's- Oh my god, oh, no. <laughs> oh no. We got to break uh, Fuck. Beth is Alice because we stopped looking for her. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not true at all. Act like we did nothing wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. You, didn't if anything, do you, act, you acted irrationally, generously. At the police giving up. There was the bone that fragments that you've been convinced were hers. You have medical professionals assuring you that she had died. I don't know. That's why Beth is Alice. No. Stop saying that. No, it was the psychopath that kept her locked up listen. in a dungeon. Ned Flanders. I hate this logic. This, this is, is so like really creepy. Annoying. It doesn't make sense. Freddy. Oh, she's getting oh in there. <laughs> what, really? Getting me. Oh, she just unscrewed oh. it? Okay. All right. Why are they all terrible? Why is everything awful? Believe it or not, I'm trying to protect her. No, the she plot will ensure that she's fine. Yeah, now, the plot protects just... her. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, that's what you did to Kate. You walk around, pretend like she meant nothing to you. <laughs> wow, who are you to no, say that's that? Called that's called fucking moving on with your life. It's got yeah. nothing to fucking do with it. What this doesn't make that? any sense. Like, no in dialogue in this fucking series makes any sense. Random fucking henchmen from Alice's crew get in here, but Jacob can't find out about it. Okay. <laughs> Odd transition, but this oh, is this... just like nonsensical. How did you... It's like you're burning more than the midnight oil. No, I'm curious too. Is that the evidence? I can pay you. You have to be oh, for me. Oh, wow, he's like super evil. Why would you instantly start with I can pay you? What, what's, what's happening right now? Like, oh! Oh! What? <laughs> Wait, what? How did you- How did you get this? <laughs> Logistically, okay. that's- All right. You protect him? A man who sends so many innocents to their deaths? And that no, face, no, that voice, and that mask. Yeah. The law's not perfect, I'll give you that. Doesn't mean you get to rewrite it in blood. Oh my god, the it's theme for this episode is so fucking blood. Yes. She doesn't use Tism voice unless she's with someone who knows her in real life, which is still Tom. Just leave it on all the time. Yeah. Maybe he should be a little quicker with that axe, I'm just saying. I'm getting he's, fucking... He's definitely telegraphing his moves, let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> fine, he pops bullets, you're fine. Wait, what? Oh. Weep the rest of the building. Jacob did something! Yay! Jacob, so Jacob proud of you, buddy! Something! Jacob, yeah! kill that social justice warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just gonna let her go, or what? That's the running theme of this show, let everybody go. I do decide to go after the right guy. When Honestly, I feel like he'd recognize her. Yeah. I, I don't know. He knows his daughter very well. Well done, Jacob. What's- the music is not matching this. He's got a bomb? Heart rate monitor linked to a dead man switch. Okay. Oh, this is the gas chamber. Alright, let's just leave. No, yeah. no, let's just leave oh, out the, the door. The door's gonna lock, yeah? The doors will lock? Yeah. Oh my no, god, that is so what? dumb. Look how long it took for what them to the lock Star after Trek the- No, just go the other way, the way that you got in here. The and judge just do it the way that you got in with the judge. Just go out that way. How does no one know that this no, is a- just go out the door you came in through! Yeah, because there is another room. And there was yeah, a window. He got in! The that's how- that's where the judge came from. Hydrogen cyanide. Emphasis on hydrogen. It it's flammable. Think the Hindenburg. You can ignite it. The flames will burn off the cyanide. <laughs> He's, I like how ja Jacob's trying nothing. He's like, oh well. <laughs> Come on, matter. Talk to me. Tell me all the reasons you hate Batman. That symbol. Let my family die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let a few of you just hang alive. How is she so conscious compared to him? Yeah. Wow. He's an old man, I guess. If you don't believe Batman. He used to blame himself. Yeah. Yep. Nice and standard. The music. Oh. The music. <laughs> Wow! Oh my God. Wow. Okay, okay, we know the cape can do that. It's fine. It protects everyone from everything. The hair is perfect. The hair is untouched. Oh, I like that the walls are black and charred, but the hair is <laughs> How did that room get equipped that way without anyone knowing? Reopen 
all cases tainted by Rip. this extra legal cabal. Where is she? She what? left. I physically uh, don't have the power to stop her. I what do you want? Letters. The cuff was shit. Stop showing the stupid faces. <laughs> There's just a skull on the desk. <laughs> Look, okay. well, Bruce, I've been blaming my dad for not saving Beth that day. Let go. But it wasn't his hand on that door. I mean, you still think that telepathy? What is he fucking invincible? <laughs> we are gonna get Beth back. No, you're not. And this no, time, she's a murderer. She's killed five people. I don't know. Forgiving my father will help me forgive myself. He didn't but fuck up. <laughs> he didn't do anything. What is this? The Last Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, she was gonna tell, but now she's not. I thought I might find you here. Oh, they're just hanging out, okay. You're wanted criminals! <laughs> You're just, building. like, sitting in the street? It was um, supposed to be a table for two. Why does yeah. he sound like a terrible actor now? Yeah. With the two of us, two halves of one whole, just as Kate and I are two halves. But if you one, are two halves two of one whole, she can't also be two halves of a whole. It, the writing. Ah. Then it's good we have that. He just has a weapon? Yeah, he wow. carries it with him. It's his thing. He carries it with him. He just like he walked out into the front of Wayne building and pouted with an extremely he lethal weapon. He, by the way, out of off scene, he just stole this. He just took it. He just yeah, walked out with yeah. it. There's no scene to establish that he he just left with it. We did it. <laughs> There's like someone in the background. Isn't that Alice? You know, this is the second episode where there has been a MacGuffin gun specifically designed to kill Batman. Yeah. I fucking hate this show. <laughs> so, <laughs> so not very good. <laughs> we need to talk about that opening scene. <laughs> That's just like... When they show the water coming toward the guy, it's like, there's just so many places he can run. He didn't climb the fence to get into the car park, right? Like, Yeah, the, the show's recurring theme is that people forgot how they got to where they were, and they didn't just leave, like, in, like, he didn't just leave the way he came to get into the parking lot, and Batwoman didn't just walk out the door that she got into the judge room with. Well, okay, so if I'm gonna be as fucking forthright as I can with, like, what they expect us to assume is that all doors were locked, and, like, with those Star Trek doors, every door in that room. We didn't see like, it, but if we assume that, does that does that scene hold up if we assume that? No. No. Uh, <laughs> because there's still the other door, but I guess then the other, like, there's a thing where he can make the Star Trek doors close in and lock. Why oh. is that even a thing? Do you like how the bat suit is equipped with, like, a thing that can make it so your whole body temperature can stay at a specific degree, but it also, it doesn't have, like, just a fucking oxygen feature, like a... Wasn't it established, though? Uh, in the in a couple episodes ago that she could hold her breath for like two minutes why didn't she do that well it yeah, just needed to last until water. she could burn it all which she could apparently do anyway it was jacob that was good like blah, blah, blah. she was trying to get him to talk and talk it's like isn't that a bad idea when the room is filled with gas yes because you're breathing if you talk how would, so this is like this courtroom where this guy clearly works and like apparently it, com it got completely outfitted to not only like close and lock in on itself but also pump gas in like geez like so he planned ahead first off i have no idea how that doesn't circulate gas through the whole fucking building but I guess the gas goes specifically to that one room, which he, if he dies, it locks all the doors, and so that, I that guess if he was gonna die, way. he knew he would have to do it in that room? The fuck, I can't believe they actually said the words SJW or Social Justice Warrior, but I think Superwoman yeah. as a show has done way worse than that, so it's like, oh, oh yeah. okay, there we go. And, um, yeah, trying to get these blunt as fuck messages across, it's like, ugh. Also, um... Do you like how this show is doing, like, it puts the F into showing her put on her tism voice every time she does it? Like, it has a shot to show it. And I'd just be like, to the editor or the director, I'd be like, why are you doing that? And it's like, oh, well, yeah, so we that know. people, we, we, we want people to know that it makes sense that her voice is that way. And you're like, oh, you want it to make sense, right? Oh, okay. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. I have some questions based on that, uh... <laughs> The judge, I guess, started burning all the evidence, which he just kept around in paper form in his office. Mm. Okay. And so he starts burning it. How does he know to burn it? His co-conspirators have been killed. I assume he thinks that. Why didn't he get um a bunch of guards on him? Yeah, no, Why that's that's true. Cause he would be rich as fuck. Surely he could definitely hire the crows. We well, know that he much. Said he, he said he could pay Batwoman. So why didn't he pay like private security? 
Also, yeah, and, uh, he says, back. and that's the first thing he says is, "I can pay you." <laughs> <laughs> Not even trying. It's like, "I can pay you." It's like, oh, I God. thought you were saying it as a sort of like, "I can bribe you to stay quiet about all these evil things I'm trying to burn." I thought that's what exactly. he was going for. And what is his motive? I guess he's just a racist. Y yeah, these three people are kind of racist. Did, did I? Do we miss yeah. anything for that, or is? I guess they're all no. just they're all just racist. And this guy's motivated by the fact that he's been executing uh, innocent people, and so now he wants to execute the people who are in charge in poetic ways that represent the what they cause, I guess. Though I'm curious, it looked like he was going to axe murder the judge, not gas him. You know what I mean? Yeah, the well, gas was like a backup thing. Wait, wait, wait. That that raises so many problems. Did he think he was gonna like die? die yeah. While trying to kill him, and then well, for some reason he well, thought the judge might kill him. I guess. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, he first off he got in with that fucking outfit. He just walks in, I guess, to a courtroom. Awesome. Like, well, when why to be impractical when about the judge is, people? Just get a gun. When the judge is running from Batwoman, and then like he just walks out of the execution guy's there. So it's like, oh, <laughs> you're just here, okay? Like I didn't. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how insane he'd have to plan all this. It, it's a, I guess it's convenient that they both Batwoman. And but Batwoman conveniently arrives at the same point that the judge is burning all the evidence, also at the exact same time that the executioner man shows up. All these three things coincidentally occur at the same time. That teleport she does, by the way, dude. So she's behind the judge. Uh, the judge runs forward into the executioner, and Batwoman's behind the executioner. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, quite see how that works. <laughs> also, know. how strong is she exactly that she can take that big old dude he was getting taken away and pull him so far that he's literally out of sight of all She's the officers. Got, the grappling hook has infinite strength. Nothing yeah. can stop it. But that's the thing. That would pull her towards him. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would be so funny. <laughs> like, ah! She's <laughs> and she's like, don't worry, guys. I have a USB. <laughs> like, <laughs> also, uh, super convenient that the batarang stuck in that end of the batarang and not the USB yeah. end. So I guess, like, yeah, the point is, three horrible people have been getting those people who were innocent killed, and um, one of the people they've also convicted was someone who was guilty of the crime of killing Lucius Fox, who is now going to be retrialed and possibly set free. I guess that's going to be an on-running uh, plotline for Luke to kind of have a problem with Batwoman now. Is that what they're going to do I with that? I guess. I would love to know the motivations of why he's doing this at all, because they still haven't given me any. Luke has no motivation to do anything. I want to highlight, by the way, from the moment the gas starts pouring in, from the moment they find out about that dead man switch thing, they have like a good, I want to say, eight seconds before the door shut. So they could have like gone, oh, it's a bomb, or oh, it's a gas thing, run, and they run outside and they make it. And yeah, like, oh. when it's when he when the body starts beeping like that, I know my first instinct is to go bomb. up to it. I mean, we said it. I was like, oh, there's a bomb, run. Yeah. <laughs> there's no point in doing the whole. Let's flip the body and see if there's a bomb. Because <laughs> like, if there's a bomb, the beeping noise. Yeah. Also, the fucking license plate thing. That was oh, extremely yeah. stupid. Well, what if they had just said it's the like security definitely. cameras inside the warehouse gave us the plate, and then I we'd be like, wow, that guy was stupid enough to do that, but okay. I do really like that this guy, if he had showed up like one minute earlier, that woman would have just like been, oh, I guess you're there stealing this, I'll stop you. And that would have been like the end of the episode. Probably. Yeah, she was in the one place that would have fucked up. And b by the way, it doesn't look like it would have been too difficult for her to stop him because he's a big guy with an axe. So she just needs technology, like electrocute him more. Well, what about a wrist device? Gauntlet. Yeah, the yeah. wrist device might be coming in handy. There. But yeah, she fucked it up and he didn't care to stop. I don't know, there's a lot of tism here. Um, could have thrown a batarang into the tire, it's like... Cool, I guess you're not going anywhere. The other theme of this episode is to take responsibility for your actions instead of blaming others. Even though we're getting a Poe situation here where Jacob is getting punished hardcore for doing nothing really wrong. Was he supposed to look for Beth just infinitely? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looked for like nine months. And we would, and it got all those crossed off places. It's like, I guess we just have to keep checking the same places over and over again. It's like, this is kind of irrational but okay yeah totally it, it really backwards. is one of those what exactly how often how long do you expect how how long do you need to do this how long is reasonable and also you just i you have more animosity towards him instead of the guy who kept you locked in the dungeon and everything like it's his fault how they just declare their motivations too yeah like, they yeah. do that a lot i gotta blame batman otherwise i gotta blame me it's like who talks like this also just so that we clarify in case it was missed i guess uh skin face man captured 
well, together with his sister, captured some guy who's high up in Evil Mum's team, who, as a team, have been designing a weapon to kill Batwoman, because it wouldn't be Batman at this point. I don't know why. Is Batwoman a thorn in Evil Mum's side at this point? I don't know the any reason I don't really know. That. It's been three years since Bat Batman's been around, but I guess they're still building weapons to kill him. And then they're like, oh, good job that you made this weapon. And they explain it all to him, even though he made it. And then he's like, more ha and steals the whole thing. And nobody seems to have a problem with that. And then, yeah, I guess we should talk about the one scene we actually liked. To a, well, one moment, right? Yeah, that one <laughs> yeah. little thing. So, yep. Alice's brother's concerned that she wouldn't give a shit about him as much as Batwoman, and that she knows who Batwoman's identity is and hasn't told him, and so he tricked her. Uh... Yeah. And it tricked all of us. Yeah, that was good. That was nice. Good I job. didn't think that the show had it in it. Good job. Good job. Yeah. It, took, it took you but six you know episodes why and you had us? one tiny sliver of a scene that we liked. You know why it tricked us? Because we actually assumed she would be that stupid to just... They would do something <laughs> that stupid. Yeah, well... Uh, called her. When she said... Uh, how did you get this number? She's like, call it twin tuition. I was like, that is how this show would have done that. That is absolutely exactly. what the show would have done. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, how do you feel it ranks? Uh, Red, I, I don't know. Probably. It's... I'm not sure if I think first best. It's between this and Magpie, I guess. And you know what? Like, there's a lot of scenes we had to talk over. Like, there's probably way more stupid in this episode that we've missed. It's so much bad. All at once. Just constantly. You can't even absorb the terribleness. Oh, right. Like, it takes time. When when they first showed the weapon, look, look at the fucking holes in the wall in the bag. Yep, they were testing on the concrete and it's got this massive hole. And later when he shoots the guy, just, I don't know. Shoots it like an old bullet. Upon testing this weapon, it blows enormous holes and the guy just, yeah. like, gets shot. Yeah, I didn't even notice blood. that. Wow. All right. <laughs> also, it's like, don't give me that shit. Like, you don't have bullets that already will go through that armor. You have, like, 50 BMGs and shit. <laughs> and look at the gonna... look at the stand it's on, as if to imply the recoil is insane or something. They're gonna yeah. have to acknowledge that, though, in the next episode, right? That this guy's dead. Like... That has to be relevant. Well, that, so, in it. case anyone missed it, right? So she said she didn't want to kill him because it'll get her in trouble with Batwoman, which is retarded. He kills him and says, try and keep that hidden. Like, <laughs> like the, the reason he killed the guy was to try and get Alice in some form of trouble. So it's like, okay. I'm assuming they'll do something with that because the show has said they want to do something with that. Also, what is this bad grenade supposed to be? Why is it doing fire things? Because well, it's, it, a, it's, it's a bat incendiary grenade for the Batman that doesn't kill people. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> Batman needs his incendiary grenades, come on. Sometimes you just gotta be able to start fires with your grenades that you throw. It also had like a slow version of the music track, it's like din 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 yep. din 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 <laughs> during the scene. Imagine being the guy who makes that. You fucking take ten minutes and you're like, <laughs> man, this, they pay me for this. <laughs> I guess that, that, that was that. Uh, see you next time, that. folks. It's gonna be great. We're Goodbye. gonna fight. Uh, I can't wait. I'm I can't so wait for excited. all these payoffs. <laughs> Dude, the finale? Watched, Oof. Excited. See, I watched I watched Rick and Morty season four premiere today, and that was really good. And then I come to this. <laughs> it's just like If it weren't for him, there wouldn't have been a Joker. Your mom, your mom, your mom, your mom. No, Donnelly, stay back. What'd you bring me?